Lindsay. I am 24 years old. I grew up in Baldwin Woodville and I went to college at River Falls and right now I live here in this apartment with my boyfriend. I work at a YMCA here in Hudson. I work for member services and kids stuff. I am also a pencil artist. Currently my art is being displayed at Cracked Barrel Winery. I'm Zach Brenn. I'm uh, 27 years old and I live at an apartment here at apartment and work at Hudson Twelfth the year. Both of our moms have set us up. They were texting each other, seeing like when we can meet. So we met at Pier 500. We were talking to each other and we both got our phone numbers and that's how we met. And we've known each other for two, two, two years now. And we go on road, road, road decent. We walk to go, go for walks, uh, go, go movies, uh, uh, play games, talk, and go, go out to eat. Yeah, I just feel so lucky to have him as my boyfriend, and hopefully the future goes on with us. <laughs> When Zach was diagnosed with autism at three, things were very challenging behavior-wise, meltdowns, um, nonverbal. So I look at where he was and how far he's come. It's incredible. It's amazing. It, honestly, it's like a miracle. Uh, when Lindsay got diagnosed with autism at 28 months old, that was 22 years ago, so there really wasn't any help. We were told from you know very early on that Lindsay would potentially never have a job and never live independent and that at that point they used the word institution that Lindsay would live in an institution and never drive a car and and you know I was pretty much told by a social worker that this is going to be your life and she's going to cry and scream and be nonverbal that wasn't the answer that I was going to accept and so we started Lindsay you know she went to early childhood school she went to she had therapy OT PT and speech three different locations she had therapy in our home and so at first I probably did believe that Lindsay was never going to live on her own and I figured she would be um, in our home in the basement. And then we slowly saw the changes and how incredible and thought, no way, she is not going to be living in, in our home in the basement and she wants to be independent. Debbie and Lori believe Zach and Lindsay wouldn't be here today without all their great educators, friends and family support. Both credit Zach and Lindsay's transition success to their volunteer jobs. Lindsay's mom, Lori, commented, Lindsay needed those jobs to learn how to work, which in turn helped her land her job at the YMCA. I think looking at these two, Zach and Lindsay, it's amazing what they have accomplished. And again, I, I still think 27 years later to be at this spot of where we are, it's a miracle. And it's overwhelming to me to walk out of this apartment and think, oh my gosh, they're living on their own and they're doing extremely well. They're very supportive of each other. There is no limits. We have no idea the possibilities of what they can accomplish and what we can accomplish by working together.